Mr. M here from x -Trades. Welcome to our Sunday market prep session designed to equip us for the week ahead. Today, we'll look at the overview of the last week's development in the stock market. As always, as always we'll scan for potential momentum trades that may occur in Monday's pre-market session and some compelling swing setups that um, deserve our attention. Let's get started. Even though Friday presented a somewhat mixed day, the overall stock market performance throughout the week was great. There were pleasant gains across the board, suggesting a robust market breadth. However, keep in mind that even um, amid market positivity, potential pullbacks are possible. So as always, watch closely and use caution. Let's take a look at the major indexes from Friday. The Nasdaq experienced a minor drop of two tenths of a percent, while the S&P 500 saw one tenth of a percent dip. The Russell 2000 faced a um, <clears throat> slightly larger setback, um, down by 1.1% largely driven by weakness in financials. In contrast, the Dow demonstrated resilience, surging three tenths of a percent. The market showed strength throughout the day, hence some selling towards the week's end was not entirely unexpected. Notably, the market is exhibiting robust leadership with the S&P 500 touching a 14th month high. IWM, um, which had been, you know, going um, sideways for a while seems to be gathering steam. It saw a robust breakup, breakout from the cap and handle pattern delivering about 3.7 gain for the week. The ARK Innovation ETF, for instance, enjoyed a remarkable 11% gain this week. Huge potentially breaking out from bottoming consolidation pattern, um, as we can see over here. Um, this implies that speculative growth stocks are still desirable with companies like Shopify and Tesla leading the charge. It's a great time for these high-flying stocks. All right, let's jump into a possible momentum plays that we should pay attention to tomorrow during the pre-market open. Um, the only one that caught my attention is BBIO. Um, they had a news, the bridge bio to host investor call to share top line 30 month results from the phase three attribute CM study in patients with trans hyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy um, tomorrow. We'll be watching here for a break above first 2210 level and then above the 2305 we have significant gap all the way up to 3560 here so watch closely during the market open as we can get a nice push there fortunately not seeing any other momentum candidates so let's move on to our swing opportunities top watch on my swing watch list is tesla tesla will be reporting their earnings um, after close on wednesday showed a lot of relative strength on friday despite overall market pullback and today um, it announced that the first Cybertruck rolls out. Analyst details the V pickup truck could be priced versus rival offerings from Rivian and Ford. Since Thursday, we saw competitors like Rivian, Ford and GM pulling back, whilst Tesla gained, waiting for a break of a key pivot level here above 282 for move towards 300, 310, 324 next. Use caution, of course, as we are approaching earnings on Wednesday after close. However, news are significant. 
ahead of the announcement, the Gary Black, who is extremely bullish about the newest Tesla ve vehicle, delved into potential pricing upon launch. What happened to price of the Cybertruck could start just above the price of the Model Y, said the Future Fund managing partner on Twitter. The analyst said he expects Tesla to price the three variants as follows. Single, single motor, rear, rear wheel drive version at 49,900, dual motor, uh, all wheel drive, 59,900, the tri-motor, all wheel drive, 79,900. At the time of the unveiling in 2019, Tesla priced three variants um, 10 grand cheaper on all models, respectively. The pricing will allow Terms of Cybertruck to qualify for the 7.5k electric vehicle tax credit under the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. The fund manager added, Black has been sharing the explosive growth potential of the Cybertruck. He also expects the vehicle to have a positive impact on the sales um, of other Tesla models. Potential customers will see the Cybertruck in person or on social media and go to the Tesla website or store and buy another Tesla model, even if they don't buy a Cybertruck, he said earlier this month, as opposed to the street volume growth estimate of 27% for Tesla in 2024, which is huge, right? The Black sees the Elon Musk-led company's volume growing by 53%. Production ramps up and Tesla closed Friday session 1.25% higher at 281.38 um, so yeah definitely worth watching here we've got you know these um, this potential entry and the break of this key pivot point here as a starter to our swing uh, with uh, you know stop down around 265 um, again we need to watch for the for for the Wednesday after close earnings here but we can see potential move towards that 300 level um in the coming days and then push higher so yeah excited about these new these news finally so um my top watch on swing tesla all right moving on to my another watch here which is um paypal and paypal caught my attention because it's in a key uh, position here right I tweet treating this as a midterm to long-term plane as we're coming close to a 200 day line we saw a nice and tight consolidation here um, over the last four weeks and now we are coming to test that 200 day line as you can see here um, and it has been acting as a long-term resistance since October 2021. I just want to show you the significance of that here. Right? So that's that's where it got below the 200 day line and it was held holding us back here all this time. Um <clears throat> going back in the chart where PayPal had a bullish breakout above 200 day line it was April 2020 we saw a massive 200 move currently we are approaching test of the 200 day line um, and we're still in the accumulation stage here so potentially we could be building here our long-term position um, and you know increasing our exposure for really you know potentially big move um, into the future. Just as, a, as an example to this, um, I saw the same thing happening on Amazon recently, where Amazon crossed the 200 day line for the first time right over here. Okay. And we and we've been just following um, this, this this bullish move here, respecting um, a day line, occasionally pulling back to the twenty. So I'm, um, you know, that's what I'd like to see happening on PayPal. 
obviously we need to cross that 200 day line first so pay attention and watch closely um i'll be um i'll be watching closely um and sort of building my position slowly all right next on my watch list is slb it had an amazing week and gained 15 percent overall and showed a lot of relative strength um you know despite uh, even uh, the, the friday's overall market pullback i'll be reporting the uh, next quarter on friday before market opens looking at their past reports they experienced massive growth over the last two years with huge eps growth and double double digit sales growth as well rs score currently at 87 so what i'll be watching here is um 5720 cross above for starter entry and move towards 59.50 here um, as a first target um, overall target for this play for me is for this swing is 72. okay now last but not least here is cars and cars is a leading digital, digital marketplace and solution provider for the automotive industry that connects car shoppers with sellers. The projected annual revenue for cars.com is 702 million, an increase of 5.88%. The projected annual non GAAP EPS is 55 cents. The current RS rating is at 94 and massive EPS growth over the last two quarters. Currently moving above key pivot levels, signaling start entry. Pull back here to um, on Friday um, on with market weakness. Watch for test and hold of um, support around 2050 level and bounce good place to accumulate for overall move towards 25 um 25 um level as price target all right these are my top watches for next week i hope this was helpful feel free to send me a dm or um ask any questions in the chat um, i hope this was helpful and i will catch you um next time i'm doing our next video thanks for your time